Well, I know it's been a while since you all have heard from me. And uh, man, I'm going to just be very, very honest with you all. Even though I took a break, um, my eyes still worked. And I am learning that there are a lot of Fox Body bullies coming up in this community. Baby, I What's happening, everybody? It's your boy Ken O'Shawn with the world famous do, 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 Blue Oval Media. And yes, I am back. I actually already made a video. I don't know if this is going to be the first one or the other one, but it don't even matter. But I'm back and I got some stuff to say. First off, let me say thank you to everybody who has messaged me via the DM, via email, who has tried to attempt to reach out to me. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Look, round of applause for yourself. Come on. But seriously, I just want to say thank you. Um, as I have been gone for the last three months from doing uh, Blue Oval Media, um, it really means a lot that people are out here that still actually care and that you know regardless of a lot of the negative comments that you get they are really good genuine people out here because look my last video of me giving up that f-150 i had people pretty much talking about my life and all type of stuff and i ain't got no money and all i'm like y'all have no idea but it doesn't really matter but it takes me into what i want to talk about today the fox body bullies of the world now this one may not apply to you but I'm going to say right now, if anything that I say today is going to offend you, you are probably part of the problem and part of the issue that I'm going to speak about today. So let's just go here. I have been, I mean, for the most part, I've been part of the Fox Body community the majority of my life. Like, let's just say that. Like, uh, camera edit? Probably won't. But I have been a part of it the majority of my life. I've man, since the 1998, you know, I've owned one. Uh, like I said, I spent about 13 years not owning one, but I've had five or seven of them now. I forgot how many I've had at this point, but been a part of the community. So I know what it was like having one in the 90s and I know what it's like to have one in this modern time. And pretty much my whole channel, this whole entity, Blue Over Media, was built off of uh, the back of the Fox Body community. So shout out to all of you all. I really appreciate it. But now I'm seeing as you know, these cars are becoming more rare. And the I man, I just recently told somebody in an interview, the Fox Body is kind of like the 1969 Camaro. It was the car that everybody wanted um, for those Chevy guys or whatever. Like it was the car that everybody wanted. It was just a very nostalgic vehicle. And that is not a lot available. But along with the Fox Body becoming this nostalgic vehicle, there are there are the generation like me who was a part of it while they were actually making it. There's the generation who actually saw these cars get built. And now there's even a newer and younger generation that doesn't know anything about these cars that are trying to get into it. And so with the advancement of modern technology, we now have this wonderful thing called social media. Here's the thing about social media. Um, you know, I remember back in the day, um, there was like these forum pages. Uh, I forgot what the name of one of them, but they, we had what was called forum pages and people would go on those pages and it was kind of like the social media of that time and we'll talk about these cars and the things that they needed if you needed help and things of that nature. But now, you know, with Facebook, Facebook is kind of like a good hub for a lot of these uh, pages now. Like there are a lot of Fox Body pages that are on uh, Facebook. And when people come on these pages, they have questions. But the problem is now you all are getting offended when people ask a question that you already know about. Why, though? Because now we are do you have a whole bunch of different generations of people who are either trying to get these cars who know nothing about them. But then you have the quote unquote senior vets who know everything about them. And now you're getting annoyed that people are asking questions about these cars. I think it's becoming a shame. But I'm going to focus on one that specifically really caused me to make this video. So in the video, it said, I am 
to I am to start a new group. The grammar wasn't that correct, but I am to start a new group called Fox Body Kindergarten for questions about PCV valves, oil ports, what is this post, etc. LOL. Now, I'm going to be very transparent with everybody. I've seen these level of posts before where people are quote unquote getting annoyed with people asking questions. But ain't that what the forum is about? Ain't that what the Facebook page is about? I guess not. It's a joke to some of you all. And it's like some of you all feel like you've been a part of it or you've been on these pages too long that you get tired of people asking questions. Guess what? That's what the whole page is for. You have the option to do this. Or you have the option to do this. Or you could just say nothing at all. At the end of the day, I'm not really understanding what's going on in this community now because I'm seeing a lot of bullies, not just even with certain posts, but even when people post their cars. Here's the thing. I'll crack a lot of jokes on some of these cars myself, but not necessarily on public forums. I will talk about LS swaps. But at the same time, I will talk about a whole lot of things, but I normally don't bash people's cars at all. Like, I'm not going to trash your car because a lot of you all that are trashing other people's cars, especially in this Fox Body community, you probably wouldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight. You would never say this to that person's face. You would only be a keyboard warrior or a keyboard thug. And so the bottom line of what I'm trying to get to is that I'm seeing a growth in these bullies and I'm actually seeing it like via generation and some other things that I'm going to save to the end. For example, I'm seeing some of the guys who are more senior or maybe know a little bit more about uh, Fox bodies in general. I'm kind of seeing some of you all be the bullies over the people that may not know or the people that just have come into the community. I'm going to be honest. I when I did my Terminator swap and I jumped into the 0304 Cobra community, man, some of those guys were just like ridiculous. And I even made a video on 0304 Cobras. And I, when I tell you like those guys were just like out of control, I was just like, hey, I'm good. I'm just going to shut up. But then now I'm going to get more personal about something that even happened to me as having a channel. I'm going to go here. So there is this one individual who I would never say his name, but he knows who he is. And a lot of you all know who he is. Every time I will post a picture of my car. So you know how on these pages they'll say for the cover photo contest, post your Fox body. I would post mine. And a lot of times I will get a lot of likes. This individual, I would say probably never got more likes than me. It's not a competition. But at the same time, this individual always has something to say about my car, no matter what. Now, I'm not claiming to have the world's greatest Fox body, the world's most amazing Fox body, but I have had this car all over the world. I do have 20 plus thousand followers on IG off of this one car alone. I do have 22,000 subscribers off of Blue Over Media. The car is very popular. It's been featured in a couple of magazines. I, you know, I'm not saying I got the best one, but I can pretty much say this. My car is better than his. But this gentleman always has something to say no matter what. And I've actually gotten into a back and forth spat with him on Facebook. And I had to make a decision one day. Why are you getting into it with somebody whose car? I'm going to be honest with you. I looked at his car. His car is actually not bad. But there must be something on the inside of him that when he sees either me or my car, it makes him feel a certain type of way. Or his insecurities are just so deep that no matter what I do or no matter what I post, he always has to say something about it. I could have post had chew and he could have said, why, why didn't you say excuse me? I could have literally sneezed and he could have he would have said, why didn't you get some tissue? It just got that bad with this, this person. And I'm going to tell you right now, young man, well, you're not young, but whatever. I have nothing against you. When it's all said and done, we do not have to agree on anything. But man, I don't do well with that bullying stuff. Like, stop being tough and stop being a keyboard warrior on Facebook. And that goes for all of you all that are being bullies. This is supposed to be a community, period, where we welcome everybody and like even everybody's creativity. My creativity ain't gonna look like yours. How I build my car will not look like everybody's. And I'm not a saying that I need everybody to agree with how I build my car. But then at the end of the day, I don't think nobody deserves to be bullied 
or talk down upon. Yes, there's going to be somebody that's going to come on these forums that's going to ask what's the best cam for a stock motor. Hey, you can make a suggestion or not say something at nothing at all. Somebody's going to ask what is the wheel specs for some turbine or 10 hole wheels. You could just not say nothing at all. Somebody's going to ask something about, you know, valves or whatever valve covers. It, it could be the most whatever thing that you think it is, is random. You could just not say something at all. But then here is my last point that I know a lot of you all are not going to like. As it relates to people being Fox body bullies, I'm not going to ignore the fact that race plays a, car, a part in it. As one of the only African-American YouTube channels, I'm not saying they're not others, there are others. So shout out to all the other ones, you know, shout out to all the other YouTube channels out here that do quote unquote for content, you know, shout out to my man Jim and all that, but there's not many. And so as being one of those people, I've caught in a lot of that flack from you quote unquote bullies. But here's why I never catch flack at. I never catch flack at the shows because y'all ain't gonna never say nothing to me directly to my face at the shows. Because you wanna know what? At the end of the day, you wouldn't do this in real life. You live a fake life behind the keyboard. And all I'm saying is that knowing that the majority of people that own these cars are Caucasian, and I love everybody, no matter what race, religion, whatever you are, I love everybody. But knowing that, I also know that when I entered into this category, which I've been in all my life, but when I entered into doing videos and having my car, that I was gonna get some racist comments and I've gotten them. And I've talked about that many times and guess what? Unfortunately, I'm not gonna stop talking about them because you wanna know why? They have not stopped. You all can go and look at my last video and see some very ignorant comments about me and the channel, but I deleted a lot of them, but it's still a couple of them left up there. And all that I'm saying is that I'm not gonna ignore that. At the end of the day, get healing, get free. Cause some of y'all need Jesus, y'all need something. At the end of the day, you don't have to trash nobody else's build publicly. You don't have to get on here and, and, and slander somebody because they asked a question. Or if you just don't like the quality of somebody's build, you can just shut up and keep building yours. Some of y'all don't even own any cars that got the most to say. And you know what? If I gotta be the one that's gotta be the bad guy and stand up for it, I will. And so shout out to the person that actually put that question out there who asked about the the, the PCV valve, PVC valve, whatever you call it. I don't even know what you call it. So then I guess I don't know nothing about cars neither. At the end of the day, uh, I hope that you got the answer that you needed in that group. But not only that though, I hope that you find a, a community of people that actually can help you with these and, and for everybody out there. Don't be the a-hole. Don't be the jerk. Don't be the person that 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 wants to like bat, slander everybody. You're not cool. If you get that and you enjoy that, you really need to get help and you really need to seek counseling. And that's my word for today. So if you like this video, share it with somebody and do me a favor. Make sure you like and subscribe. Your boy is back. And look, I'm just going to say what I'm going to say at this point. I ain't got nothing to lose. It's Blue Over Media. It's Kenneth Sean. I'm out.